Good morning, and welcome to the 2021 Winter Baccalaureate Commencement for Emporia State University. Please rise for our national anthem sung by Dr. Scott Weichel. The dawn's early light, what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land? Thank you. Please be seated. My name is George Arasimovich, and I serve as Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs. As our ceremony gets underway this morning, I ask that you take a moment to identify the two emergency exits closest to you. In the event of a severe weather incident, instructions for sheltering or evacuation will be given from this lectern. If a disturbance or an emergency arises, please notify an usher or law enforcement officer to assist. It is my pleasure to introduce members of the platform party who will stand as their names are called, and I ask them to remain standing. Please hold your applause until all have been introduced. Mr. Shane Shively, Vice President for University Advancement and Foundation President. Ms. Diana Kuhlman, Vice President for Administration and Finance. Dr. James Williams, Senior Vice President for Student Affairs and Enrollment Management. Dr. Brenda Kerner, President of the Faculty. Dr. Rachel Spaulding, Department Chair and Professor, English, Modern Languages and Journalism. Dr. Gail Stevens, Associate Dean, College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. Dr. Jerry Spotswood, Dean, Graduate School and Distance Education. Dr. Wusab Jong, Dean, School of Library and Information Management. Ms. Diane Beatty, Foundation Board Chair. Other platform members will be introduced as they participate in today's ceremony. Please join me in recognizing these members of the platform party. Thank you. Please be seated. It is now my pleasure to introduce the president of Emporia State University, Ken Hush. President Hush will officially welcome you on behalf of the university and introduce our distinguished guests. Thank you, Provost. Good morning, everyone. Regent Ice, honored guests, faculty, family members, and members of the graduating class. It is my pleasure and my privilege to welcome you to the 2021 Winter Baccalaureate Commencement Ceremonies here at Emporia State University. It's a great day to be a Hornet. Graduates on behalf of the faculty, staff, and administration, I extend our congratulations to you. We are proud of all of your accomplishments and we look forward to your future achievements. There are a number of people who have helped you reach this goal and it is appropriate that we recognize them. 
First, would the family members and significant others of the graduates please stand as you are able and be recognized. Thank you. Your support and guidance is appreciated not only by the graduates, but also by our university community. Faculty members, please rise as you are able. We also recognize the faculty members who have accompanied our graduates every step of the way and who share in their accomplishment today. Please join me in thanking the faculty. Please stand. Please stand. Thank you for remaining standing, graduating students. Please rise as you are able and remain standing. Members of the class of 2021, you have gained new knowledge wisdom, reasoning abilities, and communication skills. You will go forth from here better equipped to serve the common good. Would the faculty join me in congratulating our graduating students and the students join me in thanking the faculty. Thank you, you all may be seated. I would also like to take this opportunity to recognize and thank those of you who have served in the armed forces, military graduates and all others who are currently serving or who have served in the military, please stand and let us thank you. We appreciate your service to our country. Later in the ceremony, when our graduates receive their diplomas, each Armed Forces graduate will receive a special ESU token showing our esteem. At this time, I now invite Lucy Steyer, President of the Associated Student Government, to come forward and introduce Regent Carl Ice. Thank you. It is now my privilege to introduce to you the Honorable Carl Ice, who is with us this morning representing the Kansas Board of Regents. Regent Ice of Manhattan was appointed to the Kansas Board of Regents by Governor Laura Kelly in 2021. He is former Chief Executive Officer of BNSF Railway, the largest freight railroad network in North America, and was appointed to the Kansas Board of Regents earlier this year. He earned a Bachelor of Science degree in Industrial Engineering from Kansas State University. He also earned an Associate of Arts degree from Coffeyville Community College. Regent Ice served BNSF for 43 years, retiring in 2020 as Chief Executive Officer. He continues to serve on the Board of Directors. He also has given his time to the Salvation Army National Advisory Board and the Kansas State University Foundation. In 2018, he was recognized by the naming of the Carl R. Ice College of Engineering at Kansas State University. Please join me in welcoming Regent Ice, who will bring greetings from the Kansas Board of Regents. Regent Ice. Thank you for the kind introduction. Good morning, everyone. President Hoosh, faculty, staff, Emporia State alumni, family, friends, really everyone, and most importantly, the graduates, I'm honored to be here with you today. Uh, I, I greatly appreciate the chance to celebrate with you. We acknowledge your accomplishments. Today, you're recognized as Emporia State University graduates. That's pretty good, isn't it? I mean, let's say that again, Emporia State University graduates. So. That might have been the time for me to try stingers up, but I'm not sure I would have done that right. So you, you can show me maybe after the ceremony. So education, higher education, is really important in Kansas. It helps Kansans and Kansas families earn better wages. 
it helps kansas employers have great employees and it certainly helps kansas communities prosperity through research through innovation and through economic development now that only happens because people like you are dedicated your education here and at other institutions and doing that then you develop all the skills you'll have to excel in your career path and to be great citizens and members of your community so thank you in advance for all of that now i'd encourage you today uh, enjoy the day spend time with the the people important to you your friends and family uh, has certainly been helpful in your successes and we've talked about some other folks already so that that have been helpful there's many people in life that are helpful your friends your family your mentors your, your professors uh, so again spend time with all of them they did that because they believe in you and they believe in the impact that education will have for you so uh, I hope that will also inspire all of you to be helpful like that as you go forward now you're growing you're, you're moving to the end of your time here as students that will change but what won't change is your chance to be part of the Emporia State family you you'll always be able to draw on that to cherish that and to be a to be in the Hornet family forever so I wish you Great joy, happiness, and fulfillment as your lives unfold. So class of 2021, on behalf of all the regents, congratulations. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you, Regent Ice. Each year, Emporia State University designates one faculty member as the row R Cross Distinguished Professor. This honor is given to the ESU faculty member who best demonstrates teaching excellence, professional activities, fostering an intellectual atmosphere, service to the university outside of the classroom, and contributions as a student mentor. Several of our row R Cross Distinguished Professors are with us today, and I ask him to stand and be recognized with us. Wonderful. Thank you. You can be seated. It's a pleasure at this time to introduce Mr. Rob Catlett, the 2021 row R Cross Distinguished Professor and our speaker for today's commencement. Mr. Catlett Associate Professor of Economics in the Department of Mathematics and Economics, has taught undergraduate and graduate courses at Emporia State University for 45 years. He has shared his ex expertise with the U.S. Department of Agriculture, the Kansas Department of Labor, and the Kansas Department of Education, to name a few. Rob serves as the campus coordinator for the American Democracy Project, an effort to promote voter registration and participation on college campuses. A former president of the faculty, Rob was named the 2021 Roe R. Cross Distinguished Professor, the highest honor an Emporia State faculty member can receive. Please welcome ESU's 2021 Roe R. Cross Distinguished Professor, Mr. Rob Catlett. Thank you for those kind words. Um, I'm humbled. I don't deserve it nearly as much as many of my colleagues, and there goes my water. Well, at least I got somebody to laugh. <laughs> 45 years. Man, it just seems like it was yesterday. I feel like I've got one year of experience 45 times, maybe. I also wanted to share something with you. Our president was in my class in my second year here at ESU. I am really relieved that he was a good student. <laughs> Can you imagine the outcome otherwise? This morning I want to talk to you about several things. One of them is change. We have tried to prepare you for change. We won't know whether we've been successful for several decades. Your education is about change. 
It's about adaptive leadership. It's about recognizing that leadership is an activity, not a position. Leadership happens with each and every one of us if we're willing to step and take that lead. Dwell on that for a minute. It blew my mind when I realized that leadership is an activity, not a position. We have memory, many memories. Today, you're going to have memories that will last a lifetime. Many of the people in this room will share memories with you. Some of them, they may slip away. Others will be with you. I still remember when I graduated. I remember many of those fond memories. My parents were there. They were incredibly proud of me. Graduates, many people here are very proud of you. I've been to over 100 of these. Now, that doesn't mean that I've been to, to all of them, but we used to go to three of them per year. Now it's down to two. So one of the things that we have never done is to recognize many of the other people. Yes, I was recognized as the Row R. Cross Distinguished Professor, but without the others, I wouldn't be worth spit. No, no, no smirking, I said spit. Okay. <laughs> I would like everyone who's ever worked on the ESU campus, student employee, past, present, I would like every one of them to stand here and be recognized. Every ESU employee, past and present, faculty, students, anybody who's ever been employed here. Thank you. You may be seated. You know, I'm part of a team. My colleagues are absolutely amazing. I wouldn't be here as a Row R. Cross Distinguished Professor without the strong support of the employees who make ESU a special place. I want to take a couple of more minutes to talk about change. I also want to talk to you about when I was wrong, and I say that often. I found earlier in my career the three most challenging words to utter in a single sentence were, I was wrong. I was wrong often. Occasionally I was right. I was right, for example, when um, I realized that college graduates earn significantly more income than those who didn't go to college. There are exceptions, of course, but that's typical. College graduates earn almost double what a high school graduate with no college earns. College provides privileges. You're going to be a very privileged individual as a result of your degree. Don't ever forget that privilege. Don't forget where it came from. And also don't, rem don't forget the others who provided strong support. One of the groups that we don't recognize often enough is the people of the state of Kansas. When I came to ESU, and maybe for the first 15 years of my career, students paid approximately 18% of the cost of the education of ESU. Today, it's around 35%. Don't be bitter about the declining funding of higher education. Try not to be bitter about the massive amount of student debt that many of you have, that many of you have undertaken. And don't be like a ravenous wolf turned loose on society to try to repay those debts as fast as you can. Instead, what we hope is that you're going to foster change in our society. We see many things in our society that have not gone the way we would like. I would encourage you to be an agent of change, to step, step up and lead. I also want to recognize something else something that very few people recognize of what you and your classmates have accomplished. The American Democracy Project that was mentioned just a moment ago, ESU was one of the first campuses on board with that. It was only supposed to be a one or a two year project to try to get students civically engaged. That is to engage in leadership, 
to make this world a better place, to make it a better place for people individually and collectively. Whether we accomplish that, we need to look into the future. However, we had to do a campus audit and only 10% of our students were registered to vote back then. That was a couple of decades ago. Fortunately, times have changed. By 2020, instead of that 10% of students being registered to vote, we had 87.4% of our students registered to vote. Our ESU students voted in higher percentages than the general population. I wasn't wrong. I knew you could do it. I know you can continue to make a big difference in our lives. Without your active engagement, our society doesn't have much hope. Instead, if every person in our country had graduated from ESU and had the same kind of background that you've got, I would have much more hope. We need you to step up and be leaders. I would be remiss if I didn't talk about some other groups. I want to talk about my colleagues for just a minute. I have incredible colleagues, absolutely incredible colleagues. They push me to be a better faculty member. You, our students, push me to be a better faculty member. A couple of weeks ago, I was with five vice presidents from major US corporations, some of the very largest in the United States. They were incredibly bright and talented. My colleagues are even brighter and more talented than they are. My colleagues are incredibly bright and talented. They devote their time, their effort on scholarly activities, preparing, teaching, grading. We do it because we're committed to your success. We look forward to a future that you're going to lead. Congratulations, graduates. Thank you, Professor Catlett, for those thoughtful and inspiring remarks. We will now recognize all of those graduates who qualify for the Latin honors designations cum laude, magna cum laude, and summa cum laude. To be graduated cum laude, a student must have achieved an overall grade point average of at least 3.5 out of a possible 4.0. Will those students graduating cum laude please rise as you are able and be recognized? Cum laude. Thank you and please be seated. To be graduated magna cum laude, a student must have earned a 3.7 grade point average. Will those students graduating magna cum laude please rise as you are able and be recognized? Magna cum laude. Thank you. Please be seated. And to be graduated summa cum laude, a student must have achieved a 3.9 grade point average. Will those students graduating summa cum laude Please rise as you're able and be recognized. Summa cum laude. Thank you and please be seated. At this time, we also want to recognize the one undergraduate student in the graduating class who has achieved a perfect 4.0 grade point average during their undergraduate career. Will Morgan and Bridges of Richmond please rise? <laughs> Morgan.
Morgan Ann Bridges is graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Education degree and a major in elementary education. Please give this outstanding student a round of applause again. Thank you, Morgan. Dr. Gary Wyatt, Associate Provost and Dean of the Honors College, will introduce those students graduating with special recognitions from the Honors College. Good morning. The Honors College at Emporia State University provides an enhanced educational experience to highly motivated undergraduate students that includes an honors curriculum, learning and a practicing adaptive leadership and community service. Students who graduate with honors from the Honors College distinguish themselves by completing an honors curriculum, completing a community engagement project, or an academic thesis, and learning and practicing adaptive leadership. By so doing, they become agents of change for the common good. Will the students graduating with honors please arise as you are able and remain standing. Please hold your applause until all have been recognized. Eli O'Farrell. Olathe, Kansas, graduating with a Bachelor of Interdisciplinary Studies degree and a major in General Studies. Samantha Sanders. Lenexa, Kansas, graduating with a Bachelor of Science in, uh, in Education degree and a major in English. Please join me in recognizing these awesome students. You may now be seated. And now the time to confer the baccalaureate degrees has arrived. But before we begin the conferral of degrees, I would like you to know that a professional photographer will take pictures of all graduates as they cross the platform. Proofs will be sent via email to either the email address the student provided or to their Emporia State University email account. President Hush. It is a pleasure to present candidates for the degrees from Emporia State University. Will the candidates for all baccalaureate degrees please rise as you are able. Please rise, students. <laughs> if you, wanted, if you want a, a degree, you want to stand up right now. <laughs> President Hush. These candidates have completed all of the academic requirements for the baccalaureate degree at Emporia State University. Upon the recommendation of the faculty and with the approval of the Board of Regents, I present them to you as duly qualified recipients of that degree and recommend that you confer upon them the baccalaureate degree. By the authority vested in me, by the State of Kansas and its Board of Regents, upon the recommendation of the faculty of this university who prescribe the academic requirements, and as President of Emporia State University, I confirm upon each of you the baccalaureate degree appropriate to your curriculum with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. Candidates, you will be invited to the platform to receive your diplomas by the dean of your school or college. You may now be seated. Good morning. My name is Brent Thomas, and I serve as the dean of the College of Liberal Arts, Liberal Arts and Sciences. Will the marshals please present the candidates for the degrees Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Bachelor of Interdisciplinary Studies, Bachelor of Music, Bachelor of Science, 
and Bachelor of Science in Nursing from the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. Erica Irene Cameron. Liza Jacqueline Cooper. Nathaniel Augustus Stonebreaker Foster. Nikki Galavis. Ryu Inu. Carrie Beth Lowry. Rowan Donnell McInerney. Braden Jace Miller. Carlos Eugene McDaniel. Thank you for your service in the United States military. Whitney Lane Frierksen. Tyler Matthew Fritz. <laughs> Kai Lemon. Morgan May McReynolds. <laughs> Elias O'Farrell. Rebecca Elizabeth Parsons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Brianna Taylor. Now we're Alden Barro. Karina Calderon. Aaron Joseph Clark.
Gabrielle Esther Crowell. Madison Sarah Demler. <laughs> Zulima Yelin Duran. Rachel Grayson Freeman. John Wesley Fritz. Ashley D. Gordon. Mm -hmm. Julian Alfonso Gutierrez. <laughs> Tessa Emless Yawkers Hall. Madison Elizabeth Harder. <laughs> Nate Hornung. <laughs> Brady D. Johnson. Paige Ripley Kring. <laughs> Keith Allen Meese. <laughs> Russell Cameron Middendorf. <laughs> Amber Moore. Bus Novo Gradic. <laughs> Bethany Ray Ortega. Dre Jackson Podlena. <laughs> Hannah Inoue Risley. Atsiri Isabel Ritzer. <laughs> Ashton Odell Schneider. Cole Taylor. Fallon. 
Kristen Rochelle Tyson. Monica Guadalupe Estrada Espinosa. Morgan Elizabeth Hollow Perrick. Jordan K. Hahn. Ethan Michael Huey. Elizabeth Danielle Johnson. Cameo Rose Parman. Daisha Monique Pascal. Haley Diane Person. <laughs> Allison Francis Robinson. <laughs> Macy Dawn Wallace. Luke Dawson Winchester. Is that the school of business? Good morning. My name is Ed Bashaw and I serve as the Dean of the School of Business. Will the Marshals please present the candidates for the degrees Bachelor of Science and Bachelor of Science in Business from the School of Business. Draven Nicole George. Two things, two things. Jaden Scott Adams. You. You're welcome. <laughs> Megan Renee Auni. <laughs> Isa Chancy Bowie. Courtney Lee Burian. Cambry Madison Burns. Kyler Nicholas Kane.
Michael William Catt. Garrett Michael Chastain. Peyton Michael Baldwin. Jula Chen. Allison Ruth Christensen. <laughs> Daniel Joseph Courtright. Our students in the line. Bryce Alexander Crouch. Alexandra Elena Flipsy. Nina Hagiwara. Mallory Kayleen Hamner. Zach Lane Herrick. Michael William Hockenberger. Dalton Thomas Holloway. Matthew David Ryan Johnson. William Brendan Johnson. <laughs> Song Kung Kyung. Ye Song Kim. Mm -hmm. Mm 
David I. Cariba. Allison Shanae Katruska. Catherine Barbara Elizabeth Keen. Ramey Nicole Kleiner. Mm -hmm. I thought we had a veteran coming up. Samantha Jo LeMay. Kaylee May Lynn. Jose Armando Mendoza. <laughs> Chancy George Minden. Chancy Riley Redeker. <laughs> Brett Rio Sage. Denton J. Sanchez. Carson Lee Skiles. Miranda Alicia Soto. Demonte Bernard Traver. Corey Lynn Thomas. Junior <laughs> William Charles Valentes Thank you for your service in the United States military. Ryan Wagner. Hello, what a great day. My name is Joanne Brewer. I'm honored to serve as the Dean of the Teachers College. Will the Marshals please present the candidates for the degrees Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Science in Education Elementary, and Bachelor of Science in Education Secondary from the Teachers College.
Jessica Gutierrez. Maddie E. Berthelsen. Portia Cheyenne Bland. Samuel Robert Brown. Olivia Marie Granado. Mm -hmm. Samuel Allen Hingali. Promise Unique Johnson. <laughs> Brianna K. Nava. Benjamin James Ortstadt. <laughs> Maylie E. Palmer. Deja D. Price. Michelle Roberts. <laughs> Michaela Nicole Shanker. Morgan K. Shipman. <laughs> Michaela Ray Simons. <laughs> Kong Hin. Song. <laughs> Maris Lacy's Angelina Velasquez. Skyler Rebecca Vining. Mm -hmm. <laughs> McKenna Elizabeth Adams. <laughs> Cara Nicole Babcock. Elise M. Bias. <laughs> Katie B. 
figures. God, there's some up there to enroll. Helen Christina Bolig. Morgan Ann Bridges. Milo Marie Butler. Quincy Cox. Bethany Ann Eisenbarth. <laughs> Ashley Marie Finstead. <laughs> Cyan Marie Gaeta. Kaylee Madison Harder. <laughs> Elizabeth Marie Hund. <laughs> Faith L. Kelly. Hannah E. Cracksberger. So Keegan M. Lawrence. <laughs> Allison M. Loper. Katie Luce. <laughs> Amy M. McClure. Kira Grace McDaniel. <laughs> Megan Renee McHenry. <laughs> Mallory H. Ogle. Allison K. Ossime. <laughs> Jenna Diane Rausch. <laughs> Judith Pearl Rowden.
Alexis Olivia Saffel. <laughs> Carrie Short. Andrea J. Soliday. Emma Christine Spachek. Ashley R. Steckline. Avery Elizabeth Stones. Lauren Ray Stover. Leslie Lynn Rose Vaughn. Kelsey Dion Waybright. <laughs> Alicia R. Wickman. Haley Dawn Wilson. Mm -hmm. Kelsey Renee Wilson. Victoria Joy Yoder. Claire Elaine Calvert. Drew Garrison Carney. Amanda Marie Clark. <laughs> Kelly Ann Colwell. Sam C. Gantenbein. Sydney L. Eigert. Isaac. Marshall Johnson. Veronica Elena Winter. Kylie Renee Lancaster. Yeah. 
Jonathan T. McMurphy. Gabby Alexis Mendoza. Austin Scott Passmore. Chase Lynn Ratzliff. Braden Allen Richenberger. Samantha Nicole Sanders. Brandy Lee. Sorry, Brady Lee Scheidegger. <laughs> Annabelle Lee Schmelsley. Michelle Renee Schrader. Jake Taylor Smith. Peyton Elaine Smith. Logan James Stuckey. Wonderful. Congratulations all. Now I invite Ms. Dana Walker, Alumni Association Board President, to come forward to offer her congratulations. Good morning, Emporia get this down a little bit. Hello, Emporia State University graduates. Congratulations. Your alumni Association is so proud of you. And during your times as a student, you have overcome adversities and celebrated many successes, all while juggling responsibilities related to family, friends, your work, and your school. And we have no doubt that your experience has been a very memorable one. Your positive responses to these challenges is truly what made a difference. Those actions are commendable and have led to today, the day you earned your college degree. Congratulations, guys. It's great. So on behalf of the Emporia State University Alumni Association, I am pleased to welcome you as our newest members. And today you join 65,000 fellow alumni Hornets who have earned degrees from Emporia State University. Graduates, this university has played a major role in preparing you to meet the challenges and opportunities of the future, and we are proud of your achievements. When you entered college, you set a goal, you persevered, and as of today, you have accomplished that goal. Beginning today, I encourage you to continue to benefit from your time at the university 
now that's your alma mater. You are now and will always be a member of ESU's Alumni Association. We share pride, and you can start sharing your pride by placing your new Power E emblem on your car or other means of transportation. Show the world that you are, have ESU pride and demonstrate to others that you are alumni of Emporia State University. But you can do some more. We encourage you to continue your relationship with ESU. You are a Hornet, and we challenge every Hornet to find ways to serve and support your alma mater every year. Help recruit that next generation of Hornets. Encourage your employer to hire graduates. Advocate for public education and ESU. Begin to make giving to your university a habit. Recruit, hire, advocate, give. That's the Hornet Nation way every hornet, every year. It's a great day to be a hornet. Make every day a great day to be a hornet. Be safe and congratulations again, everyone. Very proud of you. Thank you, Ms. Walker. Congratulations to all our graduates. Wonderful accomplishments. Take the joy of today and carry it forward as you begin the next chapter in your lives. President Hoshinau has some concluding remarks. Thank you, Provost. I wish to thank Dr. Gary Zeek, the ESU Brass Ensemble, Dr. Scott Weichel, and the Commencement Committee for their contribution to the commencement. Would all graduates please rise as you are able. As a final symbol of your accomplishments and the commencement of the next stage of your life, please move the tassel from the right side of your cap to the left side. And once again, congratulations. <laughs> Will all of you please stand and join us in singing our alma mater, led by Austin Snell. The words can be found in your program on page one. That was last year, but that's okay. He's a great student. Shall we exalt our university? To our forebears and posterity, our finest efforts we shall yield in classroom, concert, lab, and field, and cheers for ESU, and cheers for ESU. Shall we remember in our future years bold shouts of victory or sentimental tears? Then shall the memories abound. We may these hallowed halls resound with cheers for ESU. With cheers for ESU. This concludes the commencement ceremony. Please remain standing during the recessional until the platform party and faculty have exited.